I guess the adventure begins here. So last week I came down here on a bit of a scouting mission to see if this river was runnable. This week I came back here with my beautiful canoe patches. Your flaws are what make you beautiful. We decided we're gonna run it over the next three days. Unfortunately, there's a huge puddle behind me so I can make it no further in the car. So this is where the journey begins with a two kilometer long portage. Looks like there might be a small creek only 500 meters from the car. So we might be able to cut a kilometer and a half off of the journey, off of the portage. I'm gonna send the drone up. Hundred and fifty percent would rather be paddling than portaging another hour, maybe two. I don't even know if it was two kilometers because I don't have GPS anymore. It was just an estimate. Oh boy, I hope I don't regret this decision. You guys ever second guess yourself? Let me know down in the comments. There's gotta be a metaphor for detours in here or some uh, saying about detours. Shortcuts, shortcuts. Yeah, it looks really good from the air, but in person it just is uh, not very good. Oh, the road is right there. It, the road's like really really close so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the road yeah I'm gonna cut my losses I regret nothing Ugh. it's probably something to be said about sticking to a plan probably something else to be said about shortcuts probably something also to be said about making split-second decisions well anyways I'm happy that I'm gonna be walking again <laughs> and it begins and it begins if you can't beat them join them I think maybe about a kilometer more of portage an adventure this will be my bailer bucket So we made it to the river and we still barely know what's ahead. Yeah, it's been a long day so far. Well, let's get going. Oh God, this is so much better. All right, nice and warm now. Well, not outside, outside is getting cool, but I'm feeling pretty warm. some old building here. Maybe an old hunt camp or something. I'm not the only one that thought this place was a good spot to camp. I wonder how old it is.
This piece here is an awesome piece of standing dead hardwood. And the reason why I like to collect standing dead hardwood is when it dies standing up, it doesn't collect water. Uh, when it's laying down, water will collect on its side and it'll decompose a lot quicker. Standing dead hardwood is vertical and it's saturation free. And also hardwood burns a lot longer and less volatile than softwood. So this is very desirable out here in the bush. And actually, uh, you can tell it's dead too because the base is completely rotten. This is a great piece and it should last me all night. Oh! I like to lay down my mat just so I know I have like a perfect spot to sleep. Cause if I set up my tent and I realize that there's unevenness or sticks or whatever underneath me, it's, it's a lot harder to fix it later than to know that I'm gonna sleep right there and it's already comfy cause I tested it out. Oh yeah, I'm using a tent tonight. <laughs> First time, a long time. That was a lot of work today. Whew, it's nice to be here. For dinner, we have steak, some dough, Cheese, green pepper, red onion, flour. We're gonna make some pizza pockets. Woo! First, let's get the steak going. Please don't mind my cutting board. I have bought a new one. It's on the way. Oh boy. I don't think bears are attracted to the smell of flour. I'm gonna assume that. Oh yeah, that's great. Like that, perfect. All right, that is meaty. The bag for tomorrow. Hopefully it stays together. I mean, it's already exploding on me. That was just way too ambitious of a meal, um, all things considered. I mean, it look, still looks pretty good. It's gonna be hard to eat. Whew. 
You need like a plate that's like twice as big. Oh, still tastes like dynamite. Wow. Yeah, it's still really good. Might not look it, but it tastes phenomenal. <clears throat> and the bottom side, it's not as burnt as it looks. It's like a little dark, but it's not, not even crispy. I was pretty sad for a second there because I was like, I looked at the time, it was 10 o'clock and the, the pizza was terrible and, or the pizza pocket. Oh my gosh, it's been a long day. Yeah, this turned out well. I can't be happier with that because um, it looked like an absolute disaster. I mean, it still looks like an absolute disaster, but better than it looks, way better than it looks. This is a lot of food. Can't believe I'm sleeping in a tent tonight. That's a novel thing. I'm actually looking forward to that. Just crawling in and going to bed. Oh, what was I thinking? That was uh, a lot of food. Feels good to be in the tent. You know what, there's something about a tent where it's just like, this feels like a sleeping space. Cause when I sleep outside, it's like so much part of the environment. It's a little bit harder to just like fall asleep. And here it's like, this is like a, a small little comfy sock drawer. And I'm a little kitty cat. And you just like crawl up in that sock drawer and you know, sleep for days. The other bucket. Nothing better than getting out of some clean, dry clothes into some damp, dirty ones.
I want to say those fish look so peaceful that I didn't want to disturb them. But in reality, none of them were biting. <laughs> so <laughs> We'll go ahead and say that those fish look so peaceful that I just, just wanted to leave them alone. But we'll keep that between you and me. I just heard something large over there. There it is, it's a moose. Yeah, they're gone. I need to get away. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, come on, baby, get out. Go to your mom. Go to your mommy. came like kind of like peeked it out of the bush that like, <gasps> made like a grunting noise at me <sighs> that was intense Wow, that noise that mom made. That was intense. Hope I don't come right back up on them. Lunch time. This Asiago artichoke sauce dip. Oh god, that's so good. Damn, just splooge it on there. Clean. Yeah. I think I need to portage. I've been encountering strainer after strainer after strainer, obstruction after obstruction in the river, so it's really hard to film. I'm just gonna go GoPro for a little bit and uh, try to cover some ground because I'm not making very much ground. So yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, just go GoPro for a while, at least, until I can uh, see I've actually made some ground, some water. Terrible. What's your idea of fun? Keep all hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Well, this is unconventional. Oh my God, that's not what I want to see. Limbo GoPro! Limbo! Welcome back. <laughs> These narrow windy rivers are a lot harder than I anticipated. Not only are there a lot of fallen trees that are blocking my way, 
the windiness, every time I have to take a turn, my tail sweeps way out and all that momentum I have going in the, in the straight direction gets canceled out. Oh, shit. Easy. Easy peasy. Holy moly. This river's relentless. I was hoping for challenges in the way of rapids. I got bugs and branches. Fun though, fun. Yeah, still fun. <laughs> Okay, time to find camp soon because this guy is getting tired <sighs> and hungry. This place is really pretty. I'm not, the I'm not the first person to think this is a great idea to camp here. There's already a fire pit. I heard the sound of the stream and I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. And sure enough, somebody else thought the same thing. Patches, you dirty girl. It's <laughs> just filled with sand. What a beautiful spot.
Dabba dabba doo bop. So a lot of people ask me why I don't use a tent very often. Well, the answer is I actually don't own a tent. This tent behind me is my little brother Dylan's. Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate it, as always. <laughs> but yeah, the reality is I don't own a tent and I also love sleeping outdoors when I can. But now that the bugs are out, I'm not sleeping outside anymore. No way. I'm getting in a tent. And nobody's paying me to say this, but Phoenix sent me over this flashlight. It's called the HL18R-T. It's a trail running specific headlamp and they asked me to do a review. It has a bright orange strap, which is great, reflective tape, rechargeable battery, waterproof, awesome features. I need those in every one of my headlamps. It has this cool adjustable strap. You can micro adjust on it. I'll get back to that in a sec. I can see this being an amazing headlamp for trail running and that's why it's a trail running specific headlamp. It does lack two features in it that I would like to have in a normal everyday headlamp. One of those is having uh, a red light. This does not have that. And the other thing is I need the strap to be a little larger because I do have a big head and uh, on its biggest size, my head already fits it. So if I were to wear a hat or a toque, this would no longer fit. That being said, I do have an exceptionally large head and underwhelmingly small brain though but that might be different for you. I would recommend this as a trail running headlamp to anybody. It has all the features you really need in a trail running headlamp, but as far as an everyday camping headlamp, I'd go with something else. Phoenix does sell a bunch of other stuff. They make amazing products. I can just feel the quality in this thing. I've been using it for the last few days. I absolutely love it. This will not be my daily user because it is a trail running headlamp. I will be using this for trail running. I'll leave a link for it in the description if anybody's interested. Thank you, Phoenix, for sending it out. You guys, you also let me know what you think. Are you guys cool with these types of reviews or if you want to see them in different videos or what? This is uh, not that good looking, but uh, I think we're going to make it work because shit, we got a lot of calzone left and it's a little bad. We're out here, we're doing it. You know what, I don't know what I'm doing. If you haven't come to that conclusion yet, you haven't realized it yet. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making this all up as I go. It's like parenting, you know? A little bit of butter didn't hurt nobody. A little bit of butter didn't hurt nobody. Come on, stay together, baby. One time, please. Please. There we go. Oh, it's so soft. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, here we go. On the plate. Ooh, looks good. And back on. Ah, decent enough. How you doing in there, guy? You're looking pretty good. I've seen worse. I'm spoiled tonight. Absolutely spoiled. The calzone turned out way better than it did yesterday. Yesterday, this campsite was already set up. I don't have to make a tarp shelter because I have a tent. And all I had to do was bake this food because I prepared it yesterday. Easy life. Easy life. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do calzones ever again. That was um, difficult. Maybe I'm just saying that because I'm super full right now. I'll let my tummy decide in the future. Oh. Yeah, the river was not how I expected it. I guess last week I didn't do as much of a scouting mission as I had thought I had. The one section where I did camp was by far the nicest of the whole river so far. <laughs> Imagine that. The spot I camped last week was the nicest section of the entire 15 to 25 kilometer stretch of river that I've done this trip. What are the chances? That's it for me, that was a, that was a good, good day tough day not what I expected it was what we got we made the best of it you know what I did not enjoy myself at first I'll be honest but then I just changed my mindset got all the 
all the things that I couldn't get wet out of my pockets and I just committed to being wet and fortunately it was such a nice day that I could be in and out of the water like an otter and we made the best of it and we covered quite a lot of ground so solid day it was a brutish day good night everyone Yep. Today's a cool day. We have two hours of paddling, maybe more, and then some rapids underneath our pullout point. Coffee gets me out of bed in the morning, man. This shit's exciting. Uh, I'm really digging the Insta coffee too. It's like strong. back in it. Whoa. Looks pretty straightforward. Like all adventures, you can't really expect much. This adventure was no different. When I was hoping for smooth paddling and nice easy going rapids, I mainly got black flies, log jams, and pullovers. And you know what, I wouldn't change it for the world. It was an awesome trip. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.